Oh my gosh, I think we made it. Well, there's Target and an antique store. The best combo I've ever seen. <laughs> Hold on, I'm still driving. Don't still drive, I wanna shop. <laughs> Good morning. Karen is ready, she's already out of the car. We are shopping today. We drove up to a town a little north of us called Melbourne. There were some antique stores that we've been wanting to hit. It's been on our list, so we made a list of stories to hit today. So we are going antique thrift shopping at some stores we've never been to. This should be fun, like real fun. I'm ready. And the best part is when I was leaving today, Sarah goes, have fun, buy a ton of things that I can do. So let's see what the Indian River Antique Mall has in store. This is it. This is it? This is the new one. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. We've been wanting to come here for so long. All right, you lead the way. He said there's furniture scattered all over throughout. Should we start at one end and sure. snake up? We were right. <laughs> this is the new one. Mm -hmm. uh, Karen saw it posted on Facebook Marketplace, I don't know what, six months ago? And ever since then, we've been wanting to plan a day to come up to Melbourne and do the rounds here. So today's the day. Wow, this is stuff. This one? Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot as an end table. That would look great in your either of your formal room or a front room or back room. That's really pretty. This would be cool next to the couch because it's a little taller and a drawer for the remote. <laughs> it's really nice. Okay, we'll think about that one, but we're off to a good start already. We may not have to go anywhere else. <laughs> this just may be our one this stop. Be yeah, this may be it. So Karen, I have a, um, a little list that we need to look for, okay. like verbal list. Okay. <laughs> quilts, lamps. We're gonna fight over the quilts. Yes. No. <laughs> At least we look close enough. You can use it for a month, I can use it for a month. <laughs> okay, quilts, lamps, cool paintings. Oh, okay. Anything copper and cool like decor knickknacks. Okay and side tables and chairs. So everything. <laughs> but yeah. that is that is the short list of oh things. My oh my gosh. I, we haven't passed any copper, right? No, I haven't seen oh, any yet. And so there's a quilt right there. There's a quilt. Oh, that's cute. It's all sailboat. Ooh. When we have a beach when we have oh, a, look. When we have a beach house up in Nantucket. Did you hear box. me? Yes. Then we can get that quilt. <laughs> a treasure box for what you That is cute. Oh, oh yeah. that's so cute. We'll be here all day. Feel free to continue oh, yeah. watching. <laughs> There's like so much, your eyes just don't stop. Yeah. Some of this is cool. Yeah, my grandma has all of these old brass. She has a whole hanger of all these brass items. She said I could have it. Proper. Oh, real? Yeah. Grandma, which grandma? My this grandma Charlotte. Proper. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot to take in. I always forget how like antique malls are very um, overwhelming a little bit. <laughs> um, but we have about four other stops today. So I took pictures of things that I liked um, and then we're gonna pass this store on our way back. So if there is something I do end up wanting, we'll just um, stop it and grab it on the way home. But nothing like, it, well, one side table and one rooster <laughs> caught my attention. I was um, surprised about the rooster. Well, there's a story behind it with like my, my family. My parents used to have a rooster and I uh, would love to like have something similar like that in my kitchen, it sounds silly. But anyways, um, what's our next stop? Um, it's different, 1700. I thought you were going to say it's different. No, that's the name <laughs> of it, it's different. All right, it's different, that's the here next. we come. So, weird. Like, <laughs> we, we ran. We just literally ran in a mall. Um, that sounds, hold on. We Ooh. walked into the mall and I was looking for the store. We stopped and grabbed Mrs. Fields to grab Sawyer a cookie. And I hear Karen say to the cash register, do the cops always walk around with guns like that? I didn't think anything of it until I saw a cop with like a serious rifle 
Yeah, there were three of them that came in originally with those big like rifles. rifles. And then we saw people running. So, Kara, we didn't even get, we got two cookies of the four. They sorry, got, Sawyer. Sorry, Sawyer. <laughs> but we literally ran. And when- But the, I already paid for them. I know, but did you hear the <laughs> cop in his thing? He said, clear them all, clear them all. Yeah. So we didn't hear anything. We didn't hear any gunshots. We didn't hear what was going on or what happened, but except there are a ton of cop cars pulling up and everyone is leaving the mall. So we ran, we're out of there. Um, we're not going to that store and there's nothing there we want there's nothing. but we're going back for sorry's cookies before we go home <laughs> maybe we'll see until then we're going to go to the next stop. the next stop wow wow i've never really i don't not, run anymore i've experienced things but i have not experienced that feeling Whew. nuts Okay, people are still running, so we're going to leave. <laughs> so we just called Sawyer and let him know that we're okay and like what happened. Um, but that's a crazy feeling. Kara and I were just talking about it in the car. Like, it's kind of funny how like your fight, fight or flight kind of kicks in and just like your senses go off. Like Karen's been in a situation in college and then I've been in a situation as well. Um, prior to this and it's very fascinating Good, thank you. I don't know so anyways my point to that is is make sure you take in your surroundings and pay attention and if you have a bad feeling about something just go ahead and not do it if that makes sense like follow your gut because it's normally right okay all right back to <laughs> vintage shopping. We just got to a place called, what is this, Twin Peaks? Twin, Twin, yeah. Twin Peaks Vintage and Antiques, Twin Peaks, yeah. something like that, but very cute. This feels very um, curated versus like knick-knacky. So um, I know we kind of just went through a lot there, but life happens. And that's what I'm documenting today. Didn't quite see it going that way, but here we are. Let's get back to shopping. Did you see some of these cool pieces up here? Well, how cool is that oh, filing yeah. cabinet? Oh yeah, I know. Right? Yeah. Stores like this are fun because it's a little more curated rather than like thrift shopping, like in one of those like antique malls we were just in. This is very curated and pieces have, be re and pieces have already been redone. So it's kind of fun to have a mixture of both. Okay, I might've found my rooster, <laughs> which sounds really random, but my parents used to have this really cool like stone rooster and I've been wanting to find something similar. Uh, we couldn't find the one my parents had. Um, so I found one and actually this one works size-wise more so in more proportion to our home than what my parents had. Theirs was like much bigger. As random as it is, I think this is coming home with me. That is an awesome double. And honestly, for that big of one, that's not a crazy price. It's only 275. Yeah, really, really cool. Ooh, I love this piece. Where did I need a piece? I needed something. Oh, this almost could work as an entrance table, Karen. Karen, I really like this one. This is a good find. <laughs> Karen's in charge of finding my uh, vintage stores to go to. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This one's a good one. And their prices aren't too crazy, which is always nice when it comes to vintage antiques and or thrifting. So I think I found a couple pieces here. I found this really cool like utensil holder which I thought would be cool for a dinner party with silverware in it or on the counter with your utensils. But I just thought it was a really unique piece kind of just to have. So I, there's not a price tag on it so I'm hoping it's for sale. Karen said everything's for sale so. <laughs> All right the gals at the last antique store were so sweet. I got talking that I didn't even film the outside of the store but I will share all the antique stores that we went to, like down in the description, so you know where we went. But we just arrived at another one called America's Antique Mall. And I've been here before, but I like went through it really, really quick. And it's huge, it's huge. So we're gonna just wander through the aisles. This one is a little more overwhelming with like stuff and like trinkets, but it's huge. So you never know what you find. Well, let's begin. <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay, this booth has a great selection. That's kind of cool. How much is that one? It's a print. It's twenty seven dollars. Like it could be cool like in our bedroom or something where Well and it's like it's like Florence. I mean yeah. it looks like the genre. Okay, well. Noted. <laughs> So you know what I just decided? <laughs> that I don't really have a specific style. And I think I kind of like that. Like I love some modern pieces. I love some like European style. I also love some of that like primitive. And I honestly feel like, and I'm very happy, it's kind of the style right now where you can mix everything. There is no right and wrong. And I kind of like that better in the sense that do what you want, <laughs> buy what you want, and make your own style. There's no right or wrong, really. Who cares what other people think? <laughs> no, I like but yeah, it's like your house, style. you have to live in it, and I like mixing all the looks. All right, I decided not to get that photo at the last one. Um, I almost got it, but it wasn't Italian, and there was a reason why I wanted to get it if it was Italian, so we, Ended up passing on it, but we're hitting one last like antique mall. Um, oh my gosh, the AC is kicking in here. Appreciate it. So I think this will be the last Thank antique store so that we're much. gonna hit. It is very hot up here, and it's amazing how tired you get walking around looking at all this little stuff. But it is fun. So, anyways, I'm done rambling. Let's see what they have. Oh, yes, I'd say that's definitely vintage. Like, in the coolest way. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. What size? I have no idea. What You'd size. have to do a little repair work, but it really is old. Oh, it's yeah. It's 175 so I don't know if it's worth it, but, like, you can tell this is, like... Yeah, look at it. It's well-worn, well-loved. That is so cool. It'd just be cool around, like, 4th of July to put on the couch. <laughs> oh, about for $170 on just 4th of July. Yeah. Can we use it Labor Day and Memorial Day, too? <laughs> That was my find. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but oh my gosh, I, lo I think that's so awesome. Whoops. I love old this quilts. Me too. I would have just a quilt store if I could. If we buy enough of them, we can sell them online. Yeah, there you go. That's very pretty. If you had those blues, that's very pretty. I think I have a love for quilts. You think? I'm glad because I love them too. I think that's it. I don't know if we need either of these, but they're cool. No, we don't need either of those because the colors don't go. But the quilts are cool. All right, that, like, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I can tell. I got Maple new toys today and she was going crazy, but we are now back from our thrift shopping adventures and we found a lot of great things. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second, but yeah, today was definitely an adventure. Uh, some things we were not expecting. Um, and I found things I wasn't expecting. So I only ended up grabbing things from Twin Rivers Local Vintage. Um, they had a great collection of things and the gals that worked there were so nice. Um, definitely a place I will be going back. I didn't have any luck at like the antique mall type of stores today, um, but you just never know. That's why, I, that's kind of like the fun of thrifting and vintage shopping. Uh, but I definitely will be going back to the Twin Rivers store. I think I called it Twin Peaks earlier, but anyways, Twin Rivers, oops. <laughs> First thing that I found, which I showed you guys when I was there, but this little rooster. My parents used to have one and I really wanted Something similar in this actually works better to the scale of our dining room and kitchen. Um, I am going to refinish it so it's not so white, so it looks more like stone, but this really, really, really is similar to what my parents used to have and that kind of like, that makes me really happy. I think this will be a piece that I keep in my kitchen dining room for a very, very long time. This vintage maple. <laughs> the next thing I found was this vintage wood and glass washboard. I have a plan for my laundry room. I want to add like a floating shelf above that big like buffet credenza in there. And I want to decorate it really cute. And I felt like this just, I just felt like this would feel right in a laundry room. And I talked to the gal and she said this is probably from the 1800s. Um, by the type of glass it is, the name on the glass, and um, just 
how it's put together. So I thought that was kind of cool. And this is only $40. So another cool vintage find. And it's one of those things like, I don't know if I'll actually use it or end up decorating with it, but it's kind of cool just to have. So I don't know where it'll end up, but I have it. <laughs> And the last thing I found at Twin Rivers is this antique gray croc, and I just thought this was so beautiful, and I didn't really know what it was used for, so I asked her, and she said this was most likely used for pickling veggies, and it most likely used to have a like cork top, um, but she said I could use it as a vase because it is sealed, so it can hold water or used for um, like utensils, but I really thought this would be a really cool vase, and it's unlike anything I had. I really liked the imperfections on it and just the color. So I found this for $64. Those were my vintage finds today. Very happy with them. And that is the one thing about like vintage items. I feel like the price is really relative. Like if you like that item, pay for it what you think it's worth. I liked this, so I was fine <laughs> with paying this. Somebody may not be, but I thought this is really unique and different and I didn't have anything like it. And I really liked the story behind it. So I got it. I was hoping to find like more like furniture pieces or like quilts, like some bigger items, but just decor items today. I actually walked into Home Goods and told Karen, you know what I need to find is a tall, thin mirror for the guest room. And I literally turned down the aisle looking at the mirrors and I go, I think I found it. I walked right up to it and I was like, yep, that's coming home with me. So the vibe or style of the guest room is kind of leaning more into that like French country type of vibe between like I have a painting over here, I have this French style um, dresser, and then I have a beautiful patchwork quilt, and then the headboard I ordered kind of leans into that as well. So kind of having fun playing with that. I wouldn't do my whole home in that style, but it's kind of fun to do a room and just kind of see how it'll turn out. I could always change it or mess it around, but back to the mirror. <laughs> I was drawn to this mirror because of how tall it was and how thin it was, so I knew when I saw it, it would fit in this spot, but I also really liked the finish of it. it kind of has like a gray wash on the frame, which I normally wouldn't pick, but I feel like it works in this room because I have some darker finishes. I just felt like it added like a light airiness to it. And I'm not really one for like an ornate frame, but this really does kind of just go away and is really soft. So anyways, I thought it worked really well in here, um, but I am not gonna fully decide on it till the bed frame arrives and we redo this room and clean it up and show you the before and after. I mean, I have curtains, I have new lamps, the mirror, the bed frame. So there's a lot that needs to come together before I make that decision. But that is the mirror that I found. So we'll see how it all comes together when that bed frame gets here, hopefully in the next video. But real quick, here's a closer look at the frame. I feel like it's just the right amount of ornate or uniqueness, but it isn't too much for this room. So very happy we walked into Home Goods. Uh, we weren't going to, but I was like, you know what? We're here, we're in a different town, might as well see what they have. So that is it for today. It was a, quite the adventure, but happy to be home, happy to be safe, and happy to see my puppies and the dogs and everything else. We did look on the news and see what happened and it seemed like it was more of just like an altercation. Um, they didn't know what the situation was. Yeah, you just never know. So be aware of your surroundings. I'm happy Karen and I are okay and we are very happy to be home and to be safe. That's it for today. Tomorrow we are packing for the keys and getting ready for a trip. I'm so excited. We are going with another couple down there. Um, it's the first time that I am going to the keys, so that'll be good. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we start packing and getting ready for a vacation. Yay. <laughs> that I'm excited for. Home decor and packing for a vacation, it's a good combo. <laughs>
Anyways, we're gonna start the day off, well, we start with Pilates and a coffee, but we're gonna officially start the day with getting my hair done, and I am so excited to see how it turns out. Um, we're gonna try something a little different. We're working on getting my hair healthy, and I think this will be a great step in the right direction. I'm actually excited to mix it up a little bit. I haven't done that in a very long time, so let's head inside and see how this turns out. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh my god, are we doing? Yeah, uh, I think. Oh, I, I think so. Okay. I'm like uh, today I got cold feet. <laughs> no, don't cold feet. It'll fade, and you like gold in your hair anyway. I mean, yeah. So. I look at like what I left with last time and what I'm walking in with, and oh my gosh, your thing is so cute. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I look at it. that. That Hi. was such a test of my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> it was unreal. Oh, I love that. I've been there before. I know the feeling. Oh my god. So this is just straight AC and that's what we normally do your low light okay. So if we're going to do your whole head, I'd probably do a little bit of 8C, a little bit of 7C just to make those a little richer. And then also... What's that one? That one's 5C. That one will come out super dark though. Okay. Um, but I do think a splash of 7CB, which is copper brown, will give it that cinnamon vibe without making it too orangey, too red, too brown. I think it'll be... Got you. So it'll kind of give this vibe without going dark. In a yes, way. Okay. I think we'll combine these three. three. Okay. Maybe a splash of gold in there as well. Yeah. Might as well. <laughs> so it doesn't go too dark, but like... Right. Okay. I just... Kind of bounces want it out go, yellows and red. Yeah, I don't want it to go too, too brown. This will literally be like... So okay. I'll do like... Um, this will be so it doesn't go like more pinky. Yes. Okay. And this will also be literally like a cap full. Like a... Just a quick <laughs> little drop. These will be the majority okay. of the combination. And then they'll just oh be Oh my gosh, I'm so that. nervous. Don't be nervous, this is gonna be awesome. Well, actually, last time I got my hair done, so I was like, oh, it looks so good, it looks a little darker. And in my head, I was like, uh-oh, is that too dark? But he liked it. So okay, it good. Good. okay, good. Okay, so. I feel like, I mean, it just literally fades to it, my back to my blonde. Right, and like this will fade as well, but if we go just a smidge darker, that will give you like one or two extra washes before you have to come back in for a place. Okay, cool. Okay. So the reason we're doing this is my goal is to get my ends healthy and long. Yes. And I feel like we're on the right track. We've been going like, doing like halvesies, not full highlights. And we've been adding in a lot more copper. So we're adding, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're adding back in color versus taking that. Yes. And so yes. this- so we're depositing color, not removing. And so we figured every other time since I do like gold and my mom is a redhead, we can play around with it and get my hair back to health. Yes. <laughs> Full health. <laughs> okay, you know you are going to be messing with an all over color and with red when you hang up <laughs> your white button down and you ask for shower caps to go over your shoes. I'm so excited, but also so nervous, like a good nervous. I've been red before, but it's been a minute. <laughs> it looks like vampires. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Yum. It's happening. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. It looks so good. It's like the exact color. Like, when it's dry, like, when I oh. take away and I see, like, 
Okay, that's really cool. Okay, now you can kind of see it enough. Yeah. I know without it being so like dark, dark and scary. Dark and scary. <laughs> it is a little dark and scary. But yeah, no, okay. Because I know how it reacts after like say two washes down here. It'll oh yeah, so this will definitely yeah. fade the fastest. Yes. Yeah. Up here will stay a little more deep. Because it's all deep. especially kind of under here. Yeah. So what do you think? Oh my god, I look like my mom. <laughs> you really do. Okay, oh my god, that's because she always does her bangs and then leaves her hair like air dry. Oh my gosh, yeah, she's gonna love it. Yeah, I think honestly, I think this is gonna fade really beautifully because you do really light form. Yeah. I think you're not gonna have an issue with the fade at all. I'd probably do uh, like once a month do a glaze. Okay. Um, and then maybe like every other glaze do uh, highlights okay. to bring in more dimension. Yeah. Yay! Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. I'm excited to like dry it. And I'm see so it excited in to the see sun. it. Yes. All right, I'll send you a picture. Yes, please do. I'm so excited to see it. You did it. I'm a redhead for a minute. <laughs> so, so exciting. So I am all styled and diffused. It is now dry and I'm officially like a cinnamon redhead golden color. I am so excited about this. I wanted something to add like depth to my ends. It's just gonna fade because it is just a glaze. So in about two weeks-ish, it'll be like the perfect, beautiful copper color. And then once I go back in in like four weeks, um, we'll add highlights back in and just like, Oh, I'm so excited for like the results, but this will be fun for like two weeks <laughs> because remember I am blonde underneath, so it is just gonna fade, but Sawyer's about to walk in and I'm gonna show him it. He's probably gonna be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> but I think it's fun. It's fun to mix it up. I haven't done this. I was a redhead like 10 years ago, so this is kind of fun to do. It's kind of shocking. Like when she turned me around and I was like, oh my gosh, is Sawyer gonna freak? Am I gonna freak? But I think it'll be fun. Sawyer, come see. Oh, I'm so excited, but also so nervous. He's gonna be like, what did you do? <laughs> hey, close your eyes when you come around the corner. I don't know if I'm around the corner. You're good. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. I know. Oh my goodness. Okay. Am I gonna look at you? You look like your mom. I know. I know. You look just like your mom. <laughs> I know. In two weeks, you make anything it would good. be like the perfect golden maple color. See? Oh, wow. Oh. Now maple is the blonde. <laughs> but in two weeks, I'll be a maple color. Here's the thing. I really like being a blonde, so I will add in my highlights, but I wanted to add that depth in, and then it'll fade, and then we can mess around with it. But I wanted to get like my base maple with highlights. Right. So that's what we'll do next time. Base maple. Maple base with highlights, just like your golden hair. Okay, so I've officially <laughs> scared the crap out of my husband with this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now he likes it, but he's like, you do look just like your mom. Um, love you, mom. <laughs> um, we're gonna call Karen and show her because she always gives great reactions. Let's see if I scare her or she loves it. Let's see. And then we're gonna pack, because I do have to get packing and get things done, but. Oh my God! Oh my God! So I scared the crap out of her. <laughs> but it's not permanent color, so it's gonna fade in like a couple washes. So they color the tattoo shop? It's pretty, but you look like your mother! It is pretty, but I my do My words exactly. <laughs> my words exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, I officially scared my mother-in-law too. If it looks like I keep looking off camera, off lens, it's because I'm scaring myself in. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it in the like side screen. But anyways, um, wow, that was a shock kind of to me. Like I knew what I was going to do, but it's always like more shocking when you see it. So I shocked myself, <laughs> shocked my husband, I shocked my mother-in-law. Um, I'll have to call my brother and like my mom and shock them too. But anyways, it's fun for a minute. You'll have to let me know if you like the red or you like the blonde. Um, or yeah, let me know what you like. <laughs> it is time now to pack. We're headed down to the Keys on Saturday and I wanna kinda start pulling some items and getting things together. It's definitely going to be a more like relaxed trip. So probably just a few sundresses and a few outfits like for dinner and keep it really casual. So let's go ahead and pull some outfits for the Keys.
Okay, so we are, oh hi, <laughs> hi everyone. So we are roughly packed. I like doing that so that way it's not overwhelming like the night before, I can kind of stare at it, make sure um, everything that I'm bringing is stuff that I want to bring. So really all I have to do is like my toiletries and like hats and whatnot. So almost done. Now I'm gonna head down to the dog training elite facility down in Port Pierce. And this is Daisy's like first official service dog training session for like her special tasks. So we're gonna head down there and go get you some training. You wanna go train? Let's go get your best. Yeah, let's go. Miss Daisy and I are at training. We're working on some of her advanced obedience and we just learned pressure, hunties. Good morning. I am about to head to the nail salon to get my nails done. They're so bad, but um, training went so well with Daisy last night. She's working on like some special tasks and starting to learn um, more like service dog tasks. But I just got her official folder um, with all of her documents and her ID cards and like identification numbers. Um, so I'm very, very proud of her because we did it. <laughs> we are getting her fully certified and my dad would be so proud. So. I'm literally holding everything that he wanted her to achieve, and that's really cool. So, very proud of you, Miss Daisy. She's over there on the couch, right? Oh, there. <laughs> so yeah, today's the day before we leave for the Keys, so I'm just gonna finish packing, finish getting things done that I need to to get ready for the trip. And so the first stop is the nail salon. Happy anniversary. We've been together nine years. I love you. Okay, so I am now home from getting my nails done and honestly nothing feels better before a trip than getting like your nails freshly done. So very happy I was able to squeeze that in. But there's so much more I have to get done that I feel like it might be better if I just like go ahead and sign off because I still have to finish packing. I have to get Ollie's food ready. I have to self tan because I feel very pale right now. Um, just like a bunch of other random things to get ready for a trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going on that. Plus I feel like there was enough excitement in this vlog from a whole day um, thrift shopping to changing my hair color, which is still so crazy. Like I'm curious after a few washes where it'll end up. So, I mean, at this point, it's kind of like a science project, so we'll see where we end up. But anyways, thank you for joining me on another vlog. That is it. I hope you guys have a great, oh, also our nine year anniversary. I'm going to also sign off so I can spend the rest of the day with Sawyer. I can't believe it's been nine years since he asked me to be his girlfriend. Time flies, but also we've done so much. And honestly, a lot of you guys have probably been here for most of it, which is also nuts. So if you have been, and you've been here for most of our journey, let me know, and let me know when you started watching. I've been doing this almost, I think, eight years. Been with Sawyer for nine, so let me know where you joined in on our journey. That is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Rocks. <laughs>